Greetings and salutations, sports fans all across the wide and wonderful internet. Michael Shibley with you here, bringing you another recap of yet another Tennessee victory as the Tennessee Volunteers take care of the South Carolina Gamecocks 40 Five to 20. We're going to do things a little bit different than the last few videos I have done on this. We're going to do some yays and some nays. What culture? Please don't sue me. But and so everything I like, we give it a yay. And everything we didn't like about the game or anything around it, we're going to give it a nay. So let's check them out. Starting off with our first yay, it's going to be the dark mode jerseys that Tennessee was rocking. These black jerseys with the orange stripes, the orange numbers. It was phenomenal. I loved seeing it. The atmosphere in Neyland Stadium, even for a noon game, was amazing. I loved it. The only thing I was a little you know, wanted to see a little bit more was the black helmets, maybe with the orange tee. But then, of course, you look into it, the supply chain issues that are still going on. It was affecting the helmets. So they still had the black outline uh, around the orange tee with the black face mask. So overall, definitely a yay. A nay to go along with that if the people who were out there and they were just poo-pooing it, they didn't like it. Oh, no, Tennessee should just be in the orange and white. Guess what? It is not about you, old man yelling at a cloud. That is not how this is going. The players wanted to do it. Shoot, they wanted to do it last year, but they weren't able to do it because of certain circumstances, and they got to do it. Hopefully, the smoky gray uniforms are also going to be coming back at some point. If the players want to wear a different and alternate uniform one of these games every year, I am totally fine with that. Let them. Also, guess what? If it gets a five-star recruit to take another look at Tennessee and maybe even decide to come here, I am all for that. That's what this is about. It was fun. I have people I know who work on Tennessee's campus here in Knoxville, and they just said the students were all about it. They were so excited to have this dark mode game. And hey, it's a W. Tennessee is 2 and O in dark mode and black jerseys. So let's just keep going with it. I'm all for it. You look at another yay, of course, was the performance in the first quarter. Tennessee for the second week in a row, scoring 28 points, coming out like a ball of fire. These players have just completely bought in to Josh Heupel's system. It looks like they've finally gotten everything dialed in as well. Tennessee starting with two three and outs against South Carolina with defense, which again, the defense overall, I thought played pretty well as well. So another yay there. But then you look at how they were able to just come back and immediately score two touchdowns after those three and outs. And then South Carolina drove right down the field and then a nay on South Carolina for deciding to get cute and trying a halfback pass where Tennessee apparently had enough of not quarterbacks throwing touchdowns, at least in the first half, with the little trickeration. So they were able to read this one a little bit better. And so they picked that one off. And then they went again right down the field, scoring another touchdown, really making them pay for it. South Carolina then comes out and fumbles a snap. And Tennessee makes them pay for it again. That's just huge the way the momentum swung. Instead of it being 14 to 7 with Tennessee just up by a touchdown, it ended up being 28 to nothing and then later 35 to nothing. Tennessee was just in complete control in the first half. Now, a nay going along with that was how Tennessee came out in the second half. I was hoping it would start a little bit more aggressive, kind of like they did against Missouri. Sometimes, though, especially when you have a younger team and guys who aren't haven't been around it as much when you get these big leads. Sometimes, guess what? You rest on your laurels a little bit. You don't execute the right way. You say, hey, we've mostly got this in the bag. So they Tennessee was able to see South Carolina come back a little bit. A big nay on special teams with giving up that fake punt touchdown to get South Carolina back at least into it a little bit, getting their second touchdown there. That was just, I was, I was surprised to be perfectly honest, that South Carolina even went for it, or wasn't going to go for it, rather, where they decided, oh, um, they, they were on Tennessee's side of the 50, and they're down 38-7, to 7, I believe, at that point, 
why not go for it on a fourth and five? They decided to punt. I'm like, this is just weird. And then they faked it, caught Tennessee completely off guard. So it worked out. So nay again on Tennessee on that one. But again, Tennessee, I thought overall still played really good defense. A yay for South Carolina, I thought, for the way they changed up their defense and how they were much more of an attacking defense in the second half. And I think Tennessee also wasn't playing as aggressively, at least to start the second half. So it balanced out. South Carolina was able to at least make Tennessee and the fans like myself sweat just a little bit there. However, Tennessee finally, after a four uh, turnover on downs, was able to come back, drive the ball back down the field and get at least one more touchdown and put the game out of reach with a 45 to 20 final down. Another yay for the number 27, as Tennessee, of course, honored the great Al Wilson. He got to lead the vol walk. They honored him at halftime. He gave a great speech at the uh, at the end of the game in the locker room. And, of course, also the current player wearing number 27, Lynette Whitehead, got the final touchdown as Tennessee, again, gets the win 45-20. to 20. So, overall, definitely a yay for the Big Orange getting another conference win because it sets Tennessee up where the last two games of the season are against South Alabama and against Vanderbilt. So Tennessee right now has four wins. You win those two games and you are going bowling. Of course, mostly a nay. We'll kind of see where it all shapes out. But Tennessee, their next four games are against the real meat of their schedule. It is one heck of a gauntlet. You are playing Ole Miss, and then you are at Alabama. You have a bye week right in the middle of that, but then it is at Kentucky and versus Georgia. So if Tennessee could even pick one of those games off, that would just be amazing. We'll have to wait and see. I am really anxious to see. I'm already going to give it a thumbs up yay for all of the offense we are most likely going to see next week. It's going to be a basketball score as Tennessee plays the Rebels of Ole Miss. But those are just sort of my thoughts on how the game went and everything that went along with it. Another big yay again to Hendon Hooker, who has just taken command of this offense. The players are all in with him. He's definitely earned that QB one spot. He's got a great grasp of this system, so I am all for that. A nay for some more of the injuries on Tennessee's depth. Boy, they, some of these places, they are razor thin. It felt like they were only playing, and they could have been, with 60 to 65 scholarship players this last week against South Carolina. They're going to need to get healthy in a hurry because, as I've mentioned, the meat of their schedule is coming up in these next four games. But let me know what you guys think of everything. What did you think of the atmosphere there with the black jerseys? Let me know how you think Tennessee is going to end up going forward. What do you think the final record for the Big Orange is going to be. I'm still sitting at 6-6, six and six, but, I mean, if you were to tell me at the end of the season that we're going to be 6-6 six and six at the start of the season, I would take that. Just, again, all the turnover we had with the coaching staff and so many of our top players who have left, I am all for a 6-6 six and six record with more practices and hopefully a bowl victory. So that's what I'm looking at. Again, let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. Give us a thumbs up if you liked this video or a yay as we talk about with the bit that we're doing here. So I appreciate all of that. Of course, you can follow me on Twitter, Michael underscore Shibley. And we do live watch alongs of all Tennessee games here at Casa de Shibbles. You can check us out, Shibbles and Bits, over on Twitch. So check us out there. Until next time, go Vols. Too sweet. See you next time.